Hello everyone, this is Vicki Verley. Thank you so much for joining me for your monthly tarot scopes. These monthly mini readings offer a glimpse into what it's really like to have a personal consultation with me. A private reading is much more personal and in-depth. I psychically tune into your energy and get visions and impressions that are specific only to you. If you would like to order a personal reading from me, or check out some of the other products and services that I offer, you can do so by checking out the link below. And now without further ado, on to the reading. Hi Virgo, welcome to your June 2015 periscope and animal totem card. Okay, we'll start with the tarot. I'm going to uh, shuffle up the cards. This is the Hanson Roberts deck, by the way. People ask. Hanson, H-A-N-S-O-N, Roberts. I've used it forever for clients. I've worn out quite a few of these decks uh, over the years. Uh, and I don't know why I picked it originally. It is very similar to the Rider Waite. I think I picked it because it was easier to handle. It was a smaller size. Because back then I think cards... They weren't it was like all the cards there are now. There was only a you know, they were big. There's only a few decks and they were really big and hard to fit in your hands. Okay, um, let's see what's in store for Virgo for June 2015. And the last one. Okay. Um, yeah, let's take a look. You know, you get the Ten of Cups was the first card out, so that's pretty awesome. That is a card of great happiness, joy. It's known as the the marriage card. So some of you might be getting married, or you might be going to a wedding, or you might be involved with a wedding, which isn't surprising in June, right? That's big wedding month here in the U.S. and states. And um, so that, but it's a, it's a card of big happiness and joy and stuff like that, you know. And um, somebody might be getting married and having a baby right away. You know, Empress is here. And this is, you know, the, it's the pregnant woman, it's the card of the pregnancy and the mother and all that stuff. And when it lines up with Ten of Cups, often that's what it means, you know, uh, love and marriage, or what's that? There's some song about marriage and then the babies come, or there comes so-and-so pushing a baby carriage. What is that? <laughs> oh yeah, like so-and-so uh, and so-and-so -and -so sitting in a tree. K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes so-and-so with the baby carriage. <laughs> okay, enough of that. But I, that just was rolling around in my head. Uh, yeah, so maybe somebody's getting married, going to have children, start a family, you know, that kind of thing. But it's like a joyous occasion, whatever. It's not a bad thing. If, it's, if, if you're the type that's like, oh, God, babies, oh, no. <laughs> it's not like that, you know. It, it, it's a joyous occasion. So it's something that is desired and wanted, in other words. It's not a... a a pregnancy or a marriage, you know, if, uh, a bad relationship. It's it's all good stuff, you know. Also, Empress is a card of great health. If anybody's had anything worried about their health, that Empress showing up would be a very good omen, auspicious omen of their health improving or, you know, getting better. Or if it's your mother, because not only is Empress the pregnant woman, it's your mother. You know, it's the, it's the maternal person. Um, Empress has other meanings, too, that have nothing to do with birthing babies. I mean, that was uh, when these cards were, were, you know, were first come out. That was the, the, what a woman did. That was the sign of the abundant woman, someone who could produce a lot of children. But in these days, it's not like that, right? The Empress is, it's the harvest. She's, it's the abundance. She's got, it's plentifulness. It's the beautiful goddess, woman here, you know, so... It's all good energy with the uh, Empress. It's healing energy, you know, it, it's all good. And it's also, it tells you you're beautiful. A lot of times when this card comes up, and in this case it is, look, the guy looks at her. Because women often will have, well, men too, you have ish body issues. You know, we all, we're not perfect, our body's not perfect. That's, this card shows up and, and somebody's looking at her like him, especially the Knight of Rods, who's very sexual and very, you know, Knight of Rods is a, a sexual person for sure, and he's looking at her like, hey, you're pretty hot. <laughs> so, you know, even though you think, oh, I, I want to do this, you're beautiful the way you are. And men, women, whoever find you attractive, okay? 
and you're beautiful. That's a big message of that Empress, too. Okay, so you got all this stuff about the love and the marriage and all that. And that looks really good. There's a little bit of stuff, uh, concerns about some money stuff. And I know you Virgos, they like me, or Earth sign. And if your finances aren't right, you don't feel right about things. You Sometimes you have, you know, I, I'm that way, too. I can be. Or all Earth signs can be. But notice that you've got three pinnacle cards in reverse. It doesn't seem to be like there's some big loss or like, you know, it's not like a tower or ten of pentacles. These are all just like, uh, you know, minor setbacks. News coming that you maybe you were anticipating on, maybe not coming, maybe either not coming at all, arriving late, or news that it'll be delayed. That can be with the uh, page of pentacles here. Okay, so, and, and with the ace of swords too. It was something you were kind of hoping on. It doesn't seem like it's really happening. But I think, you know, too, Mercury still is retrograde for a lot of June, well, for half the month or so. And, you know, that is your, Virgos, you will be affected with that because um, Virgo, your co-ruler, your ruler is um, Gemini. So Virgos and Geminis, I mean Gemini, Mercury, excuse me, you know, Virgos and Geminis will um, sometimes feel that Mercury retrograde a little bit more than the rest of us. So... I'm not feeling like it's a bad thing, and if this is all all it's about, like, oh, this financial thing didn't come through, or it's delayed, or I'm not getting the money, this is, you'll be all right, or you'll make it up another way. You know, it's going to, it'll all pan out. It's nothing to be that worried about. Um, it's almost like, well, turn your attention to something else instead, then, you know, to, you know, turn your attention to love, because that seems to be really there for you, really flourishing and really happening here. Um, so, is Venus, uh, Venus was in Leo, I wonder if it's going to be in Virgo uh, in June. Let me check that out for you guys really quick. Uh, no, it's going to be in Leo for the whole month. Uh, I thought maybe Venus was going to move into your sign or something, that's why there was all this uh, amorous love stuff going on. Uh, but there's not, but that doesn't, so what? I still feel like, uh, yeah, you know, there's definitely showing that in the cards. Um, so, um... Turn your attention to what is working in your life. That's really what I want to say to you guys, right? Turn your attention towards the happiness of stuff in your life. And this is doesn't feel too bad. And I feel like I, I usually don't like to go outside the month, but it is showing fire. So I want to say by Leo, this is all going to be ironed out. It might not pan out in June. If I was doing a reading that wasn't just for the general reading for the month, I would totally be telling you that it's going to be in Leo time when things start really pop in or things come true or you know something really hits for you i don't think there's going to be a fire sign uh any kind of like a new or full moon of fire in uh june is there i'm just checking that real quick for you guys i normally don't break into oh wait, actually there is there is a full moon in sag on june 2nd so something could happen as soon as june 2nd this could even be that something was uh, kind of fell through in Taurus because we got the Earth sign there, like in May. And then as soon as June 2nd, there could be a, something that changes. I, w I was really compelled to look up when that was going to be, that um, that new or full moon, and, and there is a full moon in Sag. Uh, so I feel kind of strong on that for a lot of you, that that's going to be a key date, that June 2nd, where it is going to turn around or something is going to change or pop. Um, and maybe it involves the Knight of Rods. If so, the Knight of Rods could be a fire sign, a uh, young man, or a young woman, I guess, in these in these readings. Fire, Leo, Aries, Sag. Um, sometimes red or reddish hair. I'm not getting that all that strong here, although all three of them do have red and orange in them, if you notice. Justice has the red, red, red. And they all have reddish hair, too. These two have the reddish hair, so it might be reddish hair. I don't always say that. But anyway, so, yeah, Knight of Rods seems to come in seems to uh, make things different and carries with him brings with him justice justice is a big card it's a major arcana so is the empress major arcana these carry more weight these are more powerful justice i mean it could be some kind of if, if this is some kind of financial thing maybe a contract if somebody did um you know screw you out of some money maybe you take them to small claims court and get your money back um it could be stuff like that um Justice, though, too, doesn't always have to involve legal law government. It often does, but it doesn't have to. It can also involve uh, just justice been, has been done. So 
It could mean like if somebody screws you over, it could be like, well, don't worry, they're going to get theirs. You could look at it that way. Or it could be, you know, it's it's all evening out in, in, it all comes out in the wash. You know, it all evens out in the end. And don't even worry if they're going to get theirs or whatever. Worry about getting your just rewards. So if you were shortchanged here, you know, then it's going to, rewards will come in a different way come from a different source, a different angle. And ten of, ten of rods and reverses down here. This is, uh, you know, the load is lifted off my back. I feel relief. I feel the burden being lifted. Things are getting easier. My load is lightening. So it's, this is very good. Um, that June 2nd date is strong, but also if it's, nothing pops for you guys around June 2nd, look for the time of Leo. I usually don't go beyond the month, but I really wanted to say Leo real strong on that, um, you know, on that thing. Or uh, I think there might be like some grand trine of fire too. I'm not going to pull the book out again. You could watch an astrology forecast for that in more in depth thing. But the fire energy is activating, and that is what and that is what's going to turn things around and change it. And this Empress Justice. Sorry about that, Virgo. We ran out of juice on that battery, so I'm not sure where it clicked off at. But um, what I was saying is that this is bigger. Empress and Justice. These are bigger. This is what you want. So don't sweat this little stuff. You know, it's like you're bound for greater things, I almost want to say. Um, you know, don't sweat that. Don't let this worry you or stress you out. Just keep your eye on the bigger, better things. Take time to take a break from work and enjoy some of the fun things in life with friends and family and, joy and surrounding with joy and love and celebration that seems to be all around you. Okay, now I'm going to do the Animal Totem card. For those of you who don't know, this is my own deck that I designed. I designed it. I wrote the, um, I wrote the um, definitions for it, and it's my own creation, and it is available for sale. You can find out more. It's the Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards. So you can find out more about that on my channel. I am going to um, shuffle up, and we're going to pull the Animal Totem for... Who are we reading for here? Virgo. <laughs> Sorry, I, I lost my steps there. But Virgo, what's your animal totem for June? I think I got it. Ooh, Stingray. That's one of my... I like this one. It's so cool looking. Okay, I'll read what I wrote first. Elegant, electric, fluid, deep. Unwavering persistence, ambition. Responsible wielding of innate power. Maneuvering gracefully through life. Well, I mean, uh, you know... You do have your innate power, and that's a little bit what I was saying before. Like, whatever this petty stuff is, it's you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't sweat it for a minute because there's this bigger thing coming here. You have this innate power. You have this ability within you to go to the next level. You know, and and if a lot of frustration is occurring here on the level that you're at, chances are it is time to move on and move to the next level. Okay, but as with these cards, when I created them, I was asking my spirit guides that there be messages and things in here. So I want you to take a minute to look at this card and tell me. Well, they don't have to tell me. I'd like to hear it if you do see something, but just for your own benefit, look at this and what do you see? What stands out to you? Do you see any shapes? Do you see any, you know, certain colors? Is this a pattern? Does a pattern make, a, you know, does it remind you of anything? Do you see anything in here? Um, if so, that's a message to your subconscious that, you know, there's, it's talking to you. Also, you know, if you see one, it's highly unlikely you would probably see a real stingway. I guess if you lived on the ocean, but, um, if you see a real one or you see them anywhere, know that that's a confirmation. And that's, I love to hear about that in the comments. That's like my favorite thing to hear about when you, um, if you guys see this, a stingray, please let, take the time to let me know. I love hearing about that. Okay, stay tuned. I'll be right back. I've got a couple more things to tell you about. Have a great month. Next time. Hey everyone, before we go, if you go on my main channel, you can find out more information about me, including how to get a reading. Um, and you can check out, there's a bunch of links here. I have a couple of other channels, a music channel, and then a children's music channel, the Learning Songs for Kids. So if you like, have little kids or anybody, you can find links to all that on my main page. Uh, under the About section, you can find everything. How to order, I do the personalized mandalas, my books, it's all listed here. And that's at the top if you're on home. This is the main channel page. You go home. 
and then it's videos, playlists, channels, discussions about. Also, I believe I will have a link, a subscribe link on the video itself, and then it, I, I usually say something like goods and services. Well, that'll take you to it. Where that actually takes you to is this Order a Mandala page, which is the Tapestry of Life. But there's all sorts of stuff. If you keep going down here, you've got the animal totem cards. There's a link below to buy that. And um, all the readings. See, it says readings. And I have all the readings. There's personal readings. And then at the very bottom, too, is make a donation. I am usually try to keep it booking like two weeks out or so. I try not to let it get too far beyond there. I'll start filling in holes. But um, I try to stay like two to three weeks out on the booking so you don't have to wait uh, months or anything to get a, a reading with me. Um, if you're watching this to learn how to read tarot, if you noticed I had the book there, it's Tarot in the Modern World. I wrote this book on tarot. It's a real good, easy to understand um, book about tarot. Um, it's available on Amazon, Tarot in the Modern World. There's links to that. And then, of course, the uh, Beast Mistress Animal Oracle cards, which I um, pulled for you at the very end of the last reading. You know, that's also going to be on here on the, uh, you can get it from the About section or from this Order the Mandala page. So it's all there, you know, it's all, it's all there. And the Goods and Services, I believe, takes you to this Order the Mandala page, okay? All right, so have a great June. Remember, you are love and beauty incarnate, and I'll speak to you soon.